Well, what a topic of conversation we have for today. But listen, I understand it is the negative Nancys that keep sending this stuff to me, but they keep sending this stuff to me. And I'm not a coward, man. I'm not scared. I'm happy to chat about it. Now, I'm sure if you watch any of my content, you know I just like professional wrestling. So if you came up to me in general and you said, do you think this show is a good show or this show is a bad show? I would kind of think about it over the last six months or whatever and make a decision. But ultimately, I'm happy to take it show by show because there are so many shows in a year. There is no way anybody can get home runs all the time. It's quite literally impossible, right? If you're going to have 52 programs week after week after week after week that never stops, it never ends, there's no downtime, there's no nothing, that you're going to get some stinkers, you're going to get some stupid storylines, you get some bad storylines. Sometimes characters are going to use you the right way, sometimes characters are going to use in the in the wrong way. But there is this contingent of people that have decided that AEW is a terrible show. Now, I genuinely believe that a lot of people, one, don't watch this, and two, just see the stuff with the television deal, which sounds like it's going to be super profitable anyway, or attend figures or whatever it is like that and they then determine that as a state of the quality of the entertainment which which blows my brain because in no other walk of life if anyone came up to me and said simon have you seen the brand new lord of the rings movie it only made you know half of its budget therefore it's crap i'd be like what does that mean that doesn't make any sense. What did you think about it? That's all I care about. It. What did you think about it? Because there are terrible movies out there that some people truly love. And over time, some movies become cult classics, like The Room, for example, or like Scary Movie. I remember, actually, White Chicks. We're going to go with White Chicks. It's controversial. I remember when I watched White Chicks, I thought it was really funny. At the time, it got ruined. But now I see it on social media all the time. White Chicks is held up as like this. I don't even know what you would call it. The peak of Wayne's comedy. I don't want to get too much into that because it would send the, send the comments nuts. But if I just look at AEW as the show that is presented to me, based a lot on last night's Dynamite, just due to the time of us doing this video, I think it's a wonderful show. I think it's a fun show. I think it's an entertaining show. No, I don't think it's perfect. And for example, right now, I think the Women's Championship has lost direction a little bit, but only because what did AEW do before that? They gave us an awesome six-month, if not longer, probably nine-month storyline between Mariah May and Tony Storm. And that kind of whets your appetite. And you want another one of those. You want another one of those. And I'm sure that's me being selfish, but you can only react to how you actually feel deep down in your tum tum and then there's the will osprey and ricochet stuff which you could make the exact same argument for oh it came out of nowhere but again context is completely lost when it comes to professional wrestling the reason ricochet and will osprey can get away with it more than other people is because they have a history out there which is then going to completely change somebody's mindset depending on whether you know where this leads back to right so if you are steve and you just started watching wrestling yesterday you just happen to tune on aw dynamite you probably don't get it you're like oh man i would have appreciated if we got a bit more of a tail here a bit more narrative so i can stick my teeth into when you're a nerd like me and i watch will osprey and ricochet go at it in wcpw back in like 2016 or whatever it was once again i cannot help it my body gets excited and you're like well it would be better if we came up with whatever it may be maybe it wouldn't maybe that would suck again Let's pull a random story in there. Bret Hart versus Vince McMahon. After Bret Hart came back to Raw, we should have just told the most obvious story. Then people were getting run over and <laughs> there's so much other nonsense that we didn't need. So sometimes you can overcook the pudding, over egg the pudding. This does happen. But anyway, going into my own brain, I just get excited. I get this on October 2nd, years after I last saw it again. It works for me and it may not work for you. And you're allowed to go out there and be as critical as possible. But it's not a bad thing. It doesn't make AEW a bad show show and also i kind of feel like over the years and this makes me a little bit of a hypocrite about what i just said a minute ago but again you have to base things individually you can't just marry them all up together aew has just presented this as the way they want to approach things right they just do sometimes you're going to get a match because you want to see a good match or tony khan wants to see a good match one of his creative team and said hey man this would be a good match and it just happens and it just gets on there now is that like wwe i mean sometimes they do it too but no they go off in a very different direction and good who the flub wants the same show if you're going to dedicate let's say you're just watching the three main shows raw smackdown and dynamite i think we can all agree they kind of stand on top of everything do you really want more of the same when we already have seven hours of programming in a week isn't it just a little bit refreshing i mean this in both ways i wouldn't want wwe to do it and i wouldn't want aew to do it but isn't it just a little bit nice to get a little something different now and then then doesn't mean you have to like it but at least it kind of taps into something where you do get a reaction even if the reaction is oh this isn't really for me turn it off you should damn remote control you don't
don't have to have meltdowns about this, even though all the meltdowns are totally fake anyway. But these are the kind of the two things that I did see people talking about. And look at me, the women's championship stuff. I was like, yes, it does kind of feel like it was, I don't want to use the term better before, but more in depth before. Whereas the Will Ospreay Ricochet stuff, I didn't care about. And you could say, but Simon, it's exactly the same thing. Yes, but I'm a human being with my own thoughts and my own memories. And that's going to do things to my brain. <laughs> it's not just in wrestling. That's every single walk of life. If I go and see, what was that thing with Paige called the movie, Fighting With My Family? If I go and see it, I'm going to love it. If my girlfriend comes, she's probably going to be confused because she doesn't understand any of the reference points. We are different individuals and we are different human beings. Hello, my friends. Just a quick note to remind you to go to prowrestlingtees.com forward slash Simon Miller and pick up one of my wrestling tees. They're all my dumb catchphrases, such as the most devastating move in all of sports entertainment and two plus two equals potato. You can also get this t-shirt, which I deem to be the best thing I'll ever do in my life. That's it. Thanks for joining. Thanks for wearing them if you do. Let's go on. And let's just go to the party main event, right? The Elite versus Will Ospreay, Carl Flester and Takeshita. We were absolutely telling stories within that, like Takeshita... <laughs> Will Ospreay and pretty much everybody else and Will Ospreay and obviously Carl Fletcher are becoming a tag team and we were doing Aussie Open spots and maybe Mark Davis is about to come back but ultimately it was just a match so that you could enjoy yourself and tie into some of the matches we're doing at Grand Slam because we do have the Young Bucks taking on Ospreay and Fletcher and I imagine we're probably going to do a card of us to Kester too. I mean they were going at it constantly. You can describe that as old school wrestling. That's totally fine. That's totally cool. I don't have a problem with it. The Chris Jericho Orange Cassidy stuff. Again I would prefer it if we had done a different story but the story is still there it's based on something from four years ago if you liked it four years ago great if you didn't well you're back to the same point i think once again you could throw in there that they were doing it in front of nobody <laughs> it was the pandemic so maybe it would be nice to do something in front of a crowd and orange cassidy won that's only going to level him up and bring it up the bcc stuff same kind of things they're killing private party now which is nice they are emotionally gaslighting wheeler utah but i find it super intriguing because i do believe moxie will beat darby allen at grand slam and that means it's going to be john moxie versus brian danielson for the w the ww for the AEW Championship, which of course could be the end of Brian Danielson's career. You could argue it probably will be. And my gosh, that is going to hit harder than a punch from Lennox Lewis. Not a timely or a topical reference. I could have used Anthony Joshua, who was quite literally fighting in two days' time. But I do not think it's a bad show. Like, I, I just don't. It has, I won't even call it bad elements. I have elements that's not made for me. But there's no way that WWBD is about to spend, what, $170 million on something they think is bad. They're not nuts. They're not crazy. I want to make it clear that. That's not an indicator of a good or a bad show because that comes down to your personality and what you want from life, but it goes to show that they're profitable. <laughs> They are a successful company. So I don't want even that being brought into the equation to what I'm saying. They're going to be around for at least the next three, four, five years. And that is wonderful for pro wrestling because it gives us options. It gives the wrestlers options and everybody can continue to grow. And listen, of course, I want AEW to build bigger audiences. I'd love to go back to where it was a couple of years ago. But it's not something I have to stress about because I'm not Tony Khan and it's not my company. I just want to be able to sit there for 120 minutes. And after last night's Dynamite, it's the same with anything. Some things I liked and some things I didn't like. Now, the problem when I do it, and this is very personal to me, obviously, is I get called biased. Oh, you're biased to WWE. Oh, you're biased to where you... Nope, not at all. I'm biased to certain wrestlers because I like them and I want to do well, but once again, you can't help that. But I genuinely judge every single segment on its own merits because otherwise, what are we doing? What's the point? I have real problems in my life that take up my actual time. This is just some cool thing I get to do as a living. How lucky am I, right? And I think you always have to be aware of that too because, again, it's a super cool position to be in and you don't want to to put that under threat because the one I always get is, oh, you want a job, right? WWE has been around <laughs> since I started doing it. AEW was born in 2019. Here we are in 2024, no jobs. <laughs> No, just I'm doing, I am doing a terrible job in order to try and get a job. But I don't like this blanket idea that AEW is, is, is a bad show. It's just not. And even if you watch something like Rampage, Rampage, I think it's probably going to go away when this brand new TV deal starts. I think the Shockwave will be the show in its place and that will go to a Fox or somewhere like that. Again, we will wait and see. But you know what you're getting from it. And listen, I actually think the Soraya Harley Cameron partnership has been really funny, really good. That's a reason for me to watch Rampage. Collision often focuses on a very we're going to do a match for the match sakes card but you get amazing matches like FTR versus the Grizzled Young Veterans so if I wake up one day which happens I think oh man I just want to see two awesome teams go at it boom 
there we go. And if you're more into stories and you're more into narrative, you either tune into Dynamite or you go to WWE where people will focus on that. And of course, the criticism that people get towards WWE is, well, they don't do banger matches. Even though they do, they just do them in their own style. I don't want WWE to be like AEW. I don't want New Japan to be like either of these companies. I hope TNA can continue to have its own personality. Otherwise, I'm going to go nuts because it would be so boring. And ultimately, if AEW does see itself more as a sport, we look at the Premier League, which Tony Khan must be invested in because he's part owner of fulham you <laughs> sometimes the whole story is based on man city versus arsenal which is happening this weekend the two teams going for the premier league who's going to win that's it that's the story and there are tidbits to this because there's injuries and there's suspensions and who knows what else and man city are playing today but so man city played yesterday but arsenal are playing later and they're aware man city is at home blah 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 boring boring unless you're into this stuff then it's the most interesting thing ever it's just the same as dynamite man and again you not liking it doesn't all of a sudden equate it to being a crap show it's a crap show for you but i can't stand it oh it's not wrestling it is wrestling because wrestling can be whatever the hell you want it to be there was a clip going around the other day from a japanese promotion where they all dressed up as mario characters i think it was the best day of my life and there was people going that's an insult to pro wrestling i'm sorry man let's go back to the monday night wars right there were characters called general rection or general erection it basically talking about somebody's penis right we had judy bagwell on a forklift wwf as it was at the time was doing some horrendous things which you can see now during the attitude era sometimes taste does get kicked out of the window but people dressing up as mario to have a mario match is not the insult towards wrestling that some individuals are calling it out is because it's disingenuous again i'm getting taken off course here but it's not real it's just people want to shout about things and it all ties into the tribalism aspect that has taken over social media but still no the answer to the question is i don't think aew is a bad show and after watching dynamite last night i'm very excited about grand slam which means they did their job and that's all they need to do and surprise surprise when i go through the card i'm more excited about other matches than others but that's because i'm a person and i have likes and i have dislikes and that's as far as it goes i don't even know what the point of this video was but i get that question all the time so i thought screw it i'm going to answer it because then people go, oh you never dare answer something like that we ain't talking about starting a world war <laughs> We're talking about sports entertainment. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters because we love it. But it could go away tomorrow and the world is going to tick over. Now, I'm going to leave it there. It's really hot in this room and I'm sweating my butt off. But just remember that, okay? I massively respect your opinion. Go out there and be passionate and scream. But also be nice about it, okay? You don't have to drag somebody else down because they like something. Isn't it just wonderful they found something to pick them up on their day? Yes, it is. Especially when you look outside. It's crap out there at the moment. Everybody's now. Now, of course, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe i'm sure you want to leave a comment please do click the video on the screen which is your ratings of the best wwe super six simon 316 across all social media platforms come give me a follow simon j miller on tiktok simon miller on cameo if you'd like a personalized video no to the person who asked me to send them images of my feet that is never going to happen and of course it's pro wrestling tees.com for simon miller to get your pro wrestling simon miller merchandise that's it my friends take care see you soon